All right, so in a recent Bernie Sanders tweet, he has shown himself to either be ignorant or disingenuous. I'm not really quite sure which. He states that the video game industry made $43 billion in revenue last year. The workers responsible for that profit deserve to collectively bargain as part of a union. And I'm glad to see unions like IATSE and the broader game workers movement organizing such workers. Okay, now like I said, I'm not sure if he's ignorant about accounting 101 terminology or if he is purposefully driving a narrative under a warped perspective in order to get people on board with him. Either way, it's unacceptable and you shouldn't fall for it. This is very simple. Bernie Sanders is trying to whip people up into a bit of a fervor by mentioning that big number, $43 billion. But that is the video game industry's revenue, not profit. There is a gigantic distinction between the two. You can have what most people would consider a sky-high revenue at $43 billion, and at the same time have little to no profit, or even be losing money. Because revenue says absolutely nothing about your costs, your expenses, the money that is leaving your business to pay for everything, including worker salaries, by the way. Revenue is just the amount of money coming in. Profit, and specifically net profit, would be the amount of money left over after factoring in all of your expenses and all your costs that you incurred. Again, revenue doesn't tell you anything about whether or not the executives will be able to fill swimming pools with gold coins or whatever. All revenue really tells you in this context is that the video game industry is a huge market and a lot of people spend a lot of money on the aggregate on video games. But when you purchase a video game for $60, not all of that $60 ends up in the Swiss bank accounts of some high-powered exec. Much of it goes to the quite high costs of running a business. But here's the other thing I found odd with Bernie Sanders tweet here. He says that the video game industry made $43 billion in revenue last year, but then he immediately says the workers responsible for that profit deserve to collectively bargain as part of a union. Again, he doesn't understand simple terminology, and these are not trivial mistakes. These are words that imply huge differences in the meaning of what you're saying. Now, I've actually had to explain this before because I remember Bernie Sanders saying something very similar about Walmart. He again was talking about Walmart's extremely high level of revenue while completely ignoring that their profit margin generally hovers around 1-3%, to meaning for every dollar you spend at Walmart, 97 to 99 cents of it goes to paying for the business. It is not profit. It's money Walmart pays out to stock their shelves, pay their suppliers, their distributors, their advertising agency, their workers, their accountants, pay for the HVAC system, pay to keep the lights on, pay for insurance, pay for the overhead, and the list goes on and on and on. And even pay their executives, which again, despite the high salary, it's a small, small percentage compared to how quickly their profit margin would dry up if you try and increase hourly wages for tens of thousands of workers even if you pay the executives nothing. Bernie Sanders is one of those people that seems to be under this childish, immature, naive assumption that being in a big business means that money just comes in after no investment and no risk. And there's no reason to worry, there's no reason to cut costs. It doesn't matter if you make one million, one billion, or one trillion dollars. If your costs go over your revenue by any significant amount for any significant amount of time, you will inevitably be closing up shop. And that's a very important thing for people to know. You want more money, okay, I don't blame you, who doesn't? But if that profit margin disappears, your job is going with it. So whenever politicians talk about revenue, and that's all they mention, or worse, when they try and use revenue and profit interchangeably, just as Bernie Sanders did here, just realize that they either don't know what they're talking about or they're trying to BS you through lying by omission. Those are your only two options. But that is it for now. Like, subscribe, and share this video. It's a huge help, and you have a good one.